Welcome to this new YouTube channel called What is Covesting? We will review everything about the Covesting trading and exchange platform in multiple videos. Starting out, we will rewind time and take a look at what milestones the project have made since their ICO back in December 2017. We will end this video with a status of where the project is today. Now let's get started, this will be a long trip back. As you might know, Covesting held their ICO in December 2017. It was successful, as it ended with a bang on New Year's Eve, hitting the hard cap. Covesting now had 15 million US dollars in their pockets to fund the project. A total of 13,500 public contributors participated in the ICO. Also in December 2017, Covesting got incorporated in Gibraltar. They announced two new partners, TradingView and EasyJet Traveler Magazine, and told us that 300 professional traders had already signed up for the platform. In January 2018, the team hired head of support from Kaspersky Labs, Vitaly Sokoliansky. He will lead global support team and comes with more than 12 years of customer support experience. February 2018 was a busy month. Dmitry Pruglo and Tim Varanin held an Q&A session on Covesting's YouTube channel, answering all the hard questions gathered from the community. The Covesting Crypto Intelligence Portal kicks off. It holds an online treasury of information on cryptocurrencies. Watching this old screen sure brings back memories of the prices back then. Also, the Covesting platform had its first public presentation. In March 2018, Covesting established an office in the World Trade Center in Gibraltar. Also the new Covesting website was launched, and registration opens for beta testers. In April 2018, 200 beta testers were selected to eliminate bugs and help the team with valuable feedback. Dmitry Pruglo and Tim Varanin held another Q&A session on Covesting's YouTube channel. In May 2018, the beta version of the Covesting platform goes public. It was now possible to sign up on the platform, doing so would credit $300 to the user's account. The credited amount can be used to pay for commissions on the platform. Then in June 2018, the team received three EU licenses granted by the authorities of Estonia, Financial Institution License, Cryptocurrency Exchange License, and Cryptocurrency Wallet Service License. Also the first community contest was launched, where users could earn COV tokens for making articles, images, animations or videos about covesting. In August 2018 we briefly heard of the high level of security that the team will offer on the trading platform. September was a month with a lot of milestones, the release candidate of the platform went live, trading competition for 200 traders went live. Bug Bounty in parallel with the trading competition went live as well, the KYC process was launched. And then the team made a statement regarding servicing US clients and COV token ownership. The team made clear that they were exploring the option of obtaining state-specific licenses, such as New York State's BIT license, which would ensure all customers across the United States would be able to access the platform. One of the biggest milestones was in October 2018. When the DLT license from Gibraltar Financial Services Commission was granted, validating Covesting's mission of being a compliant, secure and transparent cryptocurrency exchange that offers clients an unparalleled level of reliability and compliance. In October 2018 the iOS app for Apple products was launched. Then as we hit November 2018, the platform went into soft launch mode. A new trading competition was launched, this lasted a month, and had people in the green despite the bear market. The team also revealed that airdrops would come to the platform, as a reward for holding COV token, you will receive an undisclosed number of airdrop tokens from the projects that lists on the platform, which is free by the way. In December 2018 the referral system was enabled, and the first users received payment for referring active users to the platform, as the refer system is paid through a percentage of the trading fees. With the 2018 year in review we learned that the fiat gateway now was the first priority. Copy trading now mentioned as being rolled out in 2019, as a core feature. 
In January 2019, the first stage of the fiat gateway was launched, as euro deposits was now available through wire transfer. It was now also possible to buy and sell Bitcoin for euro. Coin Paprika now had Covestine listed as an exchange, showing up as a top 25 exchange in total volume. With the January 2019 in review, we learned that due to cost optimization, Covesting would lay off several from the support staff, this reducing 24-hour support to 12-hour support only. Token listings was mentioned as maybe coming in the next month. Edlend Loans was mentioned, as there had been a major sell-off of COV tokens due to someone terminating Edlend Loans which was taken with COV tokens. The official Telegram channel of Covesting closes for user messages making it an announcement channel only. We learned that the team is having a hard time getting the necessary bank accounts despite being with a DLT license. We also learned that short selling will be implemented before the copy trade feature, because trading both a rising and falling market will be key, also for copy traders. This wraps it up for the walkthrough of the most important milestones I can recall for the project. Then, what is the status of the project as of now? If you as an investor only looks at the COV token price, I sure can understand you must have lost some faith in the project, as the price have tanked to an all-time low, just around 13 to 15 cents of a dollar. You might want to ask yourself the question, why did I invest into Covesting at the first place? The Covesting team has been, and is still committed, they are working hard behind the scenes to deliver the best crypto trading platform around, licensed, and regulated. The whole crypto market being in a bear market for over a year and living up to the standards of the DLT license has for sure made it hard for the team to deliver everything on schedule. Then, what does the coming weeks or months leave us with? I believe the next update will be stage 2 of their fiat gateway, with additional deposit and withdraw methods, such as credit or debit card and maybe other options like Skrill or NetTeller. The team has stated earlier that fiat gateway was their number one priority. After stage 2 of the fiat gateway, I believe we will see the first new token listings that will generate a token airdrop for the COV token holders. When that happens, I wouldn't be surprised if the platform went from soft launch into full launch and at the same time also enabled more trading pairs, which we have been told is coming. Going full launch also comes with the hope of enabling of a stop loss feature, this would be huge, and I firmly believe it will also bring a lot of serious traders to the platform. Also the full launch will enable the token burn, where 50% of the platform profits will go towards buyback of the COV token, these bot tokens will all be burned. Now, I think we will begin to take notice of covesting due to advertising or because the team is reaching out to partners, YouTubers or other social media platforms, as their marketing team will be on fire. Trade all cryptocurrencies from one account. Benefit from timely market data and get paid for allowing others to copy your trades. Covesting. Get the most from cryptocurrency trading. In parallel with this, it's my hope that Covesting has been onboarding of institutional investors and also made more great partnerships. I still firmly believe that copy trading is a key feature. I sincerely hope the feature will be implemented and ready for full launch, but I'm a little bit skeptical of that being possible. The planned algorithmic trading will in my mind come at a later stage, right now there are simply too many other things to do first. People have been doubting whether Covesting have enough funds to keep on going through this bear market. Personally I believe they have, what you need to remember is they have been adding features they want to bring to their platform even before it has fully launched. If they were running too low on funds, I'm sure they would have launched with the state of the platform as in form of panic release to get some income generated. Because of the market being bearish for so long, I think this is the main reason for the platform is not fully launched just yet. We all know it's much more sustainable to launch in a bull market, so I believe Covesting purposely planned to build even more features for the platform, as the market was not really worthwhile to launch into. This have now delayed them. And this ends this dose of Covesting. Please let me know what you think of the current status of Covesting. Do you agree or do you have another opinion? Please do subscribe to the channel. We will cover the Covesting trading and exchange platform. So this is the place to be if you want the latest news and insights for anything related to Covesting.